Hello traders, welcome to episode 224 of TA with me, Mitch Ray. Could be doing anything on the Sunday evening, but you're here. For that, I'm quite grateful. Uh, I took the afternoon stream off just because, I mean, you know, I was exhausted yesterday. I don't even know how I made it back to stream last night, but somehow I did. <clears throat> and uh, grateful to have all y'all there last night. My God, we had, what, 270 people when I was logging off? And I'd been live for like almost three hours, so uh, we were having a good time last night but uh hey we can have a good time tonight too with bitcoin finally <clears throat> finding a temporary bottom just to form a swing low for us to fit from a swing high to swing low it's swing high being right here at 56 uh 55 down to 34 54 uh we are right at that 23 percent retrace around 39 73 okay can't crack that 4000 it's acting somewhat as resistance as well as that 20 ma you can clearly see rejecting the 20 ma and that's typically what you do when you're extremely bearish okay so uh, there was definitely some reason to believe why the work of the upside came to be uh, we had that horizontal line support I'm trying to keep this down <clears throat> the uh, yeah, 3500 area right uh, bounced off that and then we ended up having that triple RSI bullish divergence does anyone remember that anyone at all even we were up here before we decided to break down we bounced off of it. We did not touch this RSI trend line. Okay, bounced off of it and uh, getting the retrace. And then what came in at the back end of this move down was that uh, for real bullish divergence. You got that rounding action on the histogram island. Some volume came in to uh, move us up to the upside. It really uh, started with that bullish Harami, and then we bullishly engulfed, and we're running up. But again. Uh, very very little power behind this move i don't even know how much further we're going to go uh terrible right again swing out of swing low 23 percent retrace you got down slipping resistance ahead of you you haven't even touched that yet okay i uh, just from anchor point one two and then three on the top side we haven't touched that yet so um it's great though man think of the swing you had right the lowest low we saw was around 34 42 34 54 it's a pretty nice retrace for now all right <clears throat> Uh, at some point, we'll get a much more major uh, retrace. So I just don't know when that's going to be, and it could very well continue on at this point. Okay, 3,500 area of support. That's your lowest low of the year. <clears throat> we haven't seen that much. Uh, excuse me. We haven't uh, seen that this low of a price in a long time. Okay, well, quite some time. And uh, my God, this lag is getting worse and worse, man. The more sophisticated our stuff gets, the more difficult it becomes for me to actually chart. Okay, but hey, we got to the cavalry coming. I think by Wednesday, there's a couple parts that they lied, said they were coming in on Tuesday. Now they're coming in on Wednesday. So, uh, gotta wait on that. But uh, once that supercomputer stuff gets installed, man, we're gonna be kings. All right, so um, September, September 22nd, 2017, that is literally what we bounced off of. Okay. Hey, is that Melissa? I think it might be. What's up, CBD hemp nurse? The Jesus lady. Welcome. Thanks for the sub. Hey, uh, Aramis. Thanks uh, for the follow on Twitch, man. The Jesus man. Thanks, dude. Jesus chime ch chain it. Oh no! Did it really mess up again? It's back, man. The echoes are back. It's like my worst nightmare. Let me uh, let me try to screw this up real quick. Uh, thanks, John, not Sethy, for the 333. Y'all just give me a second. I'm about to go crazy. Okay, this is the only way to fix it. Literally, unless I just delete everything. Okay, this is how I fixed it last night or yesterday. Like, legit, dude. I just kept doing this like a billion times, okay? I'm sorry. I know it's eye source, but like, dude, I've got to know. I got to fix this, man. It's really bad. Uh... Thanks, uh, John, man, for the 333. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm losing my mind. It, it, like, understand if there's like an inconsistency like this, how is it user error? If, like, it got, there was nothing, I don't know. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore, man. Whatever. Thanks, dude. Uh, you said uh, Alabama 14 point favorite against Georgia. Oh, my God. Uh, Mr. Sabine, saw you yesterday. You were wrecked. You were barred from the room because you drank from the crystal. Much love to all the Jesus people tonight. Julia, Princess, Side Girl, all the women of respect, the TA. Yes, John Lar. Yes, man. Thanks so much, dude. Much love. 
Okay, so <clears throat> took us about an hour to uh, scale out to see where this horizontal line support is at this point. Uh, no big deal. <clears throat> but now we know. Good God, man. All right, so again, the uh, divergence gave us reason to believe a retrace is coming. Uh, we don't know if this is the, the major one. Okay. But uh, again, if it was a more major one, that was one chime. Hey, Miami boy, thanks for the sub on YouTube. Did you man? Thanks, dude. Uh, so if we were to get a more common retrace, it would make sense right here for us to run between 4,300 and 4,800. That is our common retrace zone. If we were just to make a common retrace, we would run up here. Okay, we would break this down sloping channel and, and hit, uh, hit one of these fib nodes before breaking the downside. Could all run all the way up to our 75% uh, trend line, the equidistant channel, also touching 49, 45, right around 5,000. Okay, we'd hit that. Uh, that was a, at one time, a support, very weak support. We held it for like a little while and then tanked, right? So it could very well act as a resistance again if we were to begin really making some serious retraces. But for now, we have only retraced 23% of the way from our uh, most recent uh, apparent swing high. Okay. So that's uh, really what's happening right now. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at chat and uh, see if the, I don't know, this is a crazy dude. I can't believe this, man. OBS is killing me. You know what my, my new overlay is called? F OBS. It's literally called that now. I just can't. Or F OBS and I think F S E. Like, yeah, that's it, man. Just can't do it, man. Thanks to the uh, 161 people here between Twitch and YouTube. Uh, y'all are fantastic and uh, I can't do the show without you. So y'all, thank y'all for being here. Uh, what's up, uh, Jacob Schultz? Are you were you number one, dude? So James Glenn AO. What's up, uh, Johannish? Third Eye Trader Kid three zero six four says first post, but he was was he? I got my friggin' Irwin coffee, Irwin coffee mug, man. It's a uh, splendid, dude. Love this uh, ceramic stuff. What's up, uh, Shane Grant P Miller? Good to see you, dude. As always, Jimmy Ragsdale, the Golden Voice Jesus man, in the house. Is that a joint in the best way, Jeremy, man? Hey, Dave Jones, coming in, dude. Hello, uh, Renee. She's in Vegas. Heck yeah. Don't uh, be gambling. All right. Well, I guess we're all gambling since we're on this market, right? Somewhat. <clears throat> hey, Robin. Crypto Tiger. Jeff. What's up, HB? Wally Chan. Chans? Bounce or retrace? Uh... Well, right now we're just retracing, right? Just retracing off some uh, pretty powerful RSI bullish divergence and now MACD bullish divergence. That's what we got. So uh, that's good. That's good. But you're in bearish trend right now. Very bearish. Okay. So Zed, you think you're drunk? I'm sorry, man. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm, it might be good. Who knows? Okay. Hopefully your state of mind is good when you're drunk, right? It's your birthday in a few hours, Zed. Well, let us know when it hits uh, midnight your time and we'll start with the celebrations. Okay. Seriously. Oh my god, it's the friggin' Stone Man from Never Ending Story. Welcome, Stone Man. I remember fondly those uh, late night streams with you and everyone else when we were looking at that Stone Man. We would actually watch you and your ancestors on the movie, man. You remember that? I remember. Glad to have you back. Seriously, dude. That's that's awesome. Hello, uh, Local Dinosaur. Local Dinosaur meets Stone Man. He eats stones in his diet, so he's somewhat of a cannibal. Uh, Julia. Oh my gosh, Julia. No double chimes there. Awesome. What's up, Bradford, man? Good to see you. What happened? Uh, Wally Chen's dot dot dot. Huh? Kappa Crypto Tiger. Okay. One for Kappa for you. And one for everyone else. They're like everlasting gobstoppers. Get right. right. <clears throat> Hello, uh, Anthony Rossano. Excuse me, but clear my throat, man. Just uh, having issues, I guess. Hey, Pablo, man. There's Kai for crypto. What's up, dude? Erwin Kai for crypto. Aramis, uh, what's up, dude? Uh, just uh, doing some charts, hanging out with the peeps like I do every day. Love it, man. What's up with you, dude? Thanks again for the uh, follow on Twitch. Okay. Uh, good evening, Nick Skywalker, Robin Gomez, S. Taj, XRP Roshi, 
Good evening to you. Uh, you guess it's cold in my world, my part of the world. Uh, Peter probably, yeah, it's it's cold and it's rainy. It's like gross outside. Okay, so yeah, dealing with that. Estage, yeah, got uh, BCHSV on the list that we're going to look at. It. First, after that, before that, I guess we're going to look at uh, something blank, man. I wanted to look at a little diamond bottom, possible continuation or reversal. We'll look at the measure move on Nano for him. So, about William Battles or Bill Battles? So, Bill Battle, the name of. Yeah, Bill Battle was the Alabama athletic director, I think. I think he just, uh, he's been there, but he's not there anymore. So you're you're him, okay. I'm gonna think about that. What's up about Jackson Whitfield? Yep, BCHSV. I think that was you that requested that. We got that, dude. I mean, you were in Discord earlier, so. The darker background on chat's looking nice. Good, glad you noticed, man. We also slowed it down some, too, okay. What's up about Vincent Wilson, dude? Have the Bulls come? No, not even close. Kick it, Julia. All right, I'm going to kick it. Uh, I think I just did. That's the equivalent of what I just did. You get the shoe, and you just slam it down on the VHS player till it fix, it's fixed. Okay. Hey, Long Range Crypto. Hello. Hey, Thomas Moser. Nice crypto weather. Yeah, man. I'm uh, dressed for the occasion, right? Cold, rainy, and gross. Okay. Hello, Ari. It says, stick a fork in Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, man. But uh, we've retraced further than this in years past. So we could keep going. Hey, Billy Langford, man. What's up, dude? Oh, my God. I'm getting through this, all right? Get through chat. Just hang tight. And we'll get it rolling. All right. That's how I do it every single show at the beginning. Okay. Hey, Bill Centurion, man. Good day, mate. Peace, life. Thanks, dude. No, Thomas, I wouldn't go that far, man. I just like doing T8, right? <laughs> hey, uh, Brandon Washington, man. What's going on, dude? Dude, are you kidding me? AKA Machine? Dude, thanks so much for the 11.11 .11 XRP, man. With uh, using the XRP QR reader up there, the XRP bot. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Kangs, dude. Kangs. <clears throat> hey, Team 101, Team Crypto 101, what's up, dude? Tour Master, hello. What's up, Mr. Ali? You think that we could go to 5K before taking again, look across 5K, or go down to 3,500? I think we could retrace to 5K and then break down, right? Based on this right here, based on still being extremely oversold on the daily, right? Uh, this could give us indication to believe that a common retrace could come, but we might not even make 5,000. We could... We get a uh, crap out and reverse our price action to the downside again uh, between 4,300 and 4,800 before even hitting uh, 5,000. Mr. Ali, that's it. <sighs> yeah, don't sit in front of the, the Crimson Tide, man. Not this year, dude. I don't think we... We didn't... Um, not one team came within 20 points of us this year out of all 12 games. I mean, has that even happened before, John Lara? Where there was literally no parity all year it's just insane i can't believe it man two two has won the heisman he, it doesn't even matter what he does next game he, he won the heisman he was uh the first player in uh, alabama school history to account for six touchdowns yesterday he broke a record another record right unbelievable dude what's up greg noblin aramis uh no man no no, but I did come this from stocks, man. Stock market. The stream screen looks ace overlay sweet. Yeah, you think uh, Chalen for that. Zoro in the chat. I don't know if he's in here right now. I think he's busy. He might be. But uh, yeah, dude, he uh, he's always really good about uh, getting things being kings. Okay, and like any kind of augmentations and changes, he, he just. They're like perfect. They're like, oh, that's exactly how I visualized it. Boom. So, so Pusky, man. Hey, Robert Kirk. Mr. Cool Daddy. Hey, almost through chat. Almost through chat. All right. I'm so I apologize. This is just how it goes sometimes, man. We get a little, 
uh, dude, y'all are fam, so like I don't like missing saying hello to y'all at the beginning because I sometimes miss a lot throughout the show. Okay, so Lockcoin is bowels. How strong? Yeah, it bounced some. It's hilarious how he got as low as uh, 2669 on Litecoin, man. Just insane. All right. So, uh, yeah, William Battle, so limit. I'm behind on chat. Okay. 19 degrees in Minnesota. Hey, I had, had money on Minnesota yesterday. Had them at plus, plus 22 and a half points. And uh, they outright won and destroyed Wisconsin. That was the uh, battle for uh, Paul Bunyan's axe. Easy rivalry. How would you not take the points in a rivalry game like that? Can we go below 2K? Urge, we can always go below 2K. Always. But we got plenty of time before we get there, and it's not going to happen overnight. So, uh, And if it does, I'll be going live at random times of the night, okay? So uh, you'll know first thing if you, you know, you'll know before anywhere if you tune into this show. All right. But uh, it didn't take us long to lose $3,000 of value, did it? Only two weeks or less, less than two weeks. Yeah, man, less than two weeks, we lost three thousand dollars value. Just about. Well, at one point, right? We're kind of back up a little bit, but uh, just insane. So, Vlad, Vaneman. Yep, downtown Greenbow, Alabama, Billy man. <clears throat> okay, so we'll see. If we I got an alert set up if. Uh, if we are to start a real retrace, the real retrace, not the minor scrub retrace, uh, I got an alert set at 4160. Uh, that's really where it's kind of going to be a clean break, or you're going to be starting to really break this down slipping resistance of this little channel. Okay. So uh, let's go on to Ripple, which, man, it was up like 10% or something today off its lows. Good God. Okay, as you can see here, man, descending, broadening wedge stuff. Okay. Oh, we fell out of it, but look, man, I just had <clears throat> what made the most sense to me on the touch points. I didn't really mess with it. Uh, if you did have it like that, then you didn't even come close to it, right? You didn't even touch it, which is good. That might mean that's uh, some sort of partial decline. Maybe we'll get a rally, but the problem is Bitcoin, it's back in sync with Bitcoin price action. You clearly see that Bitcoin price action. So... All right, um, I mean, you can't break the 20 May. You're uh, just like Bitcoin on your price action. You have nice retrace, just like Ethereum, just like everything else. You had this bullish divergence that was uh, playing at one, two, three, third time, right? It's a charm. Look on the retrace, very low volume. So uh, let's see, Let make adjustments here. All right, so uh, on Ripple, at least, we've broken above a 23% retrace. Uh, we made it all the way up to probably 35% retrace. Uh, rejecting this 20 MA twice now, that's not good on low volume. Okay, so that's really not what you're looking for, but I can, at this point, you're kind of looking for Bitcoin to do things, and Ripple's going to follow behind it pretty much. That's just kind of the way it's been going. So. XRP Roshi man, thanks for the 589. The 5.89 Ripple, dude. Really do appreciate that. Much love, man. Seriously, love those Ripple contributions, man, with that uh, XRP tipbot.com QR reader up there in the top right of your screen ish. It's hard to. Like, what is that? <clears throat> it's not the top right, because that's for the forecast top right, but like, it's up there. You can see it by the magnified ticker. So. You have that ba that bot. You can send people with their QR, any kind of ripple you want. It's it's amazing, dude. Okay, it makes sure you don't have to worry about sending addresses and stuff like that for you know ripple one of the best performing coins, U.S. dollar value, of this terrible bear market. Okay, so and yeah, there's a lot of uh, good things about it. I mean, this is one that uh, I mean you know we're in a market where it's a lot of gambling going on a lot of s coins but uh, ripple is one that's a little different than a lot of others i believe just based on its working product 
in service that's active, that's going on, partnerships with banks, it's it's good, man. I mean, like that's better uh, case than all the others, most of the others. Okay, there's a for good reason. It's number two market cap now. Okay, and we can even look at that if you want to. We're gonna take a look at the market cap today. What are we sitting at? Let's rewind. Oh my God, it's 130 billion, 129.5 billion dollar market cap. Bitcoin down to 70 billion. Okay, Ripple still holding strong. That that gap is widening between number two and three between Ethereum and Ripple. Excellent, man. Okay, and so, geez, man, EOS. Look at EOS. The change, like. Uh, now, now number five, where XLM was number five, and it has dropped, but it is very close between these three right here. Okay, between Stellar, EOS, and Bitcoin Cash, for who's gonna, who has the most market cap? I don't know if uh, many people care, but uh, look, you can see the market has rebounded from those crazy lows just earlier today, early this morning. Okay, uh, we have everywhere across the market. I mean, look, you got uh, Tezza, whatever, 15%, Zcash, 11%. On the right of the upside, okay, bat up 11.45 percent, right? So, uh, overall, the market looks almost identical. Okay, wh why is the market recovering? Because Bitcoin's recovering. That's it. That's it. One coin to rule them all. We know that. All right. Also, remember, y'all, if uh, you are enjoying this live stream, please hit that like button, that bell, that sub. If you want to see this channel grow. Uh, that's the, a good way to support me, man. It doesn't cost anything. It's just like, hey, man, yeah, this guy, I appreciate what he's doing. I'm just going to hit that like button. Wow. And that sub and that bell, if I haven't already, right? Thanks. I'm just loading something, man. I cannot wait, dude. Like, me, with these new graphics, I, I know. Like, these new graphics streaming, it is it is uh, definitely bogging me down even more than I was. And I was already bogging down. I can't even do two uh, screens now. Or, uh two quint screens i can't do it right now <laughs> wednesday cannot get here soon enough okay let's go nano nano for blank man g5 has anyone seen blank man i know blank hasn't seen blank man but uh that's cool man we're just skirting along, scooting and skirting. Let me get, get rid of this. Yeah, we had that triangle with the measure move, right? What happened on the measure move? We broke out bearishly to the downside, hit the measure move, and now, yeah, blank man, good eye, beautiful, uh, beautiful looking diamond bottom. Could be a reversal or continuation. A hey, uh, Mersar, thanks for the follow on Twitch. The Jesus man, thanks, dude. Much love. I know I could probably just do, I don't know, man, if I have the ability to, uh, I, can, I know how to draw like these, uh, these little, these squares and all that. I don't know if I can, I think I can shift them. Let me, let me see real quick. Let's see. I don't think I have much, you know, ability to like, you know, like on Word or like PowerPoint or something like that, or any kind of thing, you can like shift this and make it like a diamond or something. Can't hear, so it's whatever. I'll just, well, like there's settings. What the heck? Hold on, let me see real quick. Uh, tripping through TA together with me, Mitre. No, never mind. It's screwed. We're screwed, dude. I figure something out, something better for diamonds and stuff. But it's, it's all good. It doesn't matter. Also, also clean anyway. Killing me, dude. Beautiful diamond. Uh, blank man. Big round of applause for Blank Man. <laughs> if you ever see a pattern develop, uh, feel free to shout it out in general chat, uh, ping me or PM me anytime, dude. All right. And that's everyone. Uh, and what I'm talking about is if you're not part of our Discord and you want to be, if you want to join the conversation when this stream ends, head on over to our Discord. The Link is in the description below. Check it out. That's the best way to get in contact with me and everyone else in this live chat. All right. This community we've been building for 10 months, going on 11 months now. My God, man. Been working hard. Okay. All of us. So 
You're amazing. Okay, diamond. Diamond is 41. Okay, so measurement of the upside. Okay, here's our measurement. Oh, uh, let me, let me. That's right, dude. I'm, I'm getting used to uh, the whole this thing again. I get to clone. It's so much easier. Alright, that's a little bit uh, higher. Alright, clone this. So that's your, if you uh, broke the upside, that'd be your measure move. So remember, we hit the measure move of the uh, triangle and it seems that we formed another pattern after we hit that measure move of this triangle. So beautiful. So now we're just gonna get rid of that, not create confusion. So now we can see that uh, we're on four. I'm gonna do it like this because I don't want that price action crap to be at the top. Bear with me. Oh my god, man. Dude, it's like I'm playing Counter Strike. I'm gonna try to get these pinpoint accurate, okay? Okay, so here's your measure move to the downside. Exit. There you go, man. So there it is, man. There's your uh, little setup, blank man, our measured principle. I'm going to break the upside down, so we'll see what happens. Uh, these patterns are just kind of like uh, uh, triangles. You kind of just go with confirmation to break the upside down. So take your shots, the bottom tops, right? Going short or long. <sighs> Sit blank, man. Okay, that's it. Sweet, dude. Thanks again for uh, pointing that out. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for the uh, 211 people here between Twitch and YouTube. So uh, make sure we got, didn't miss anything. <sighs> Dang man, I missed so much chat, holy crap. It's like crazy man, chat's uh, pretty lit. What's up uh, Cryptico man? Dude, long time no see, life is good man, life is good. Uh, we're just doing charts, uh, Bitcoin you can clearly see is getting wrecked. So I think last time we talked, probably Bitcoin was at 8,000, 9,000, something like that, maybe 7,000. No, really that's 6,000. So we're good to see you, dude. He's the one that made my transition before. He's awesome, dude. Oh, Baja Blast, yes, I do stream on Twitch, yes. It got to BCH to SV. There's reason why it's retraced. It's good. So 50% retrace on BCH SV. Okay, we'll look at it. Thanks, Julia, or Yulia. D pinned, hello. <laughs> oh, David Todd, you mad man? You mad, dude? And you hit the like for me, Dirty Fergie. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Much freaking love, dude. Oh my god, we're like uh, four likes away from a hundred. Can we hit four? Four more likes, y'all. That's all we need. Not sure Bot will even do anything. Probably not, Gerard, because you know about it. It's a known event. They've given a date, right? So uh, normally when you know the date, it's not inside info. It's not anything that's going to be a catalyst. So I uh, don't have <clears throat> too much of an expectation of the market to moving on that particular date. You're always going to be let down for the most part. That might take time, okay? For like any if, if Wall Street money is coming on the market or something. Because of Bach, it's gonna take time. It's not gonna happen immediately or overnight. Okay, I should be like instantly kings. Thank you. 
Sorry, man. I'm just gonna make it. I'm just beating it. I'm beating it. Go ahead and hit, hit those dislikes and hate me. I'm sorry. All right. I can't make this stuff not be bugged out. Short of deleting everything and starting over. Y'all understand how much this soap take me forever? Like two days to get this thing to redone manually. Uh, dude. Kyler Murray Heisman. Thanks for the five dollars and eighty-eight cents. The Jesman. Check ears. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at ears. Sure, man. E A R S. Sweet man. Jeez. Just can't catch a break, man. I literally can't. Nothing I do. Why is this so loud? It shouldn't be loud on your side, but it's loud on mine, of course. Yeah, KJ, man, we're gonna look at that next. Actually, let's just go to it, all right? So what's happening here? I just had this little uptrend, this retrace. We would try to argue this some sort of head and shoulders, but there was no discernible shoulder. I mean, I get it. It looks like it kind of like left shoulder, head, or right shoulder, but it was just like a, you know, you had this by wall you broke down. The, there was four hour bullish divergence in the RSI. That was most likely a good reason why we began to retrace the upside. And that's all we're doing right now. All we're doing is retracing from a swing high to swing low. 50% of the way. We have not closed the candle body above that yet, okay? So, uh, there you go, man. 50% retrace. First, please. At least it's holding. Hey, Travis, man. Do you think for the 777? Yeah, dude, we'll take a look at Burst Coin. Much love, man. Much love. Did you hear that? There was no echo right there. Holy crap. We might be safe for now. Maybe not, though. Dude, thank you, man. Alright, so, uh, what do you do after. Moves from the upside to the downside, the swing high to swing low. Where do you where do you go commonly? You go commonly between the 382 and the 618. And the situation is 89.43 to 121.22. So uh, right around there. I mean that's that's it. So uh, positive momentum, bullish convergence, kept on going. But now you're starting to hit that overbought territory. This thing could keep going, and we could get even more overbought. Sure. Just got a bullet like we broke out of the channel, break, hooked, and go. Outside of the channel, bullish engulfing candle. Just, uh, you know, the last four hour candle session we had. So, I, I don't know if we'll keep going. But everything, you're very good looking on the uh, MACD, and you're just around being overbought on the R side. So, you could keep running technically, and you'd be overbought, but you could still keep going, right? So, um, that's all you got on the one hour. That's pretty. That's significant time scale, I guess, for for this. That's such a little data. Okay, little data. But you be careful on the uh, sixty minute technically showing bearish divergence, right? So we could break down before running up again, maybe. But again, with us being somewhat right in that overbought territory, you know, having divergence here is not really abnormal on a sh uh, shorter, smaller time scale. All right, let's see. So we get a high on price. You broke down. You're running up again. You're making a technical higher high on a price, and you're making substantially lower levels of momentum, positive, men positive momentum, and relative strength. So impending price action versus the downside is possible. But it's more of a class B because it's almost a double top, right? But uh, it's slightly higher. So that's it, man. Again, swing out of swing up. 50% retrace. You can reverse your price action anytime because the impulse was down. It was bearish. Okay. That's it. So really not that crazy. I know we're up a lot. But hey, how? Uh, we're not up a lot. We're only up 50% of the way from where we were when we got listed from the forking, right? Whatever. The fork of a fork. Wow. Oh, my God. Man. Yeah, fork of a fork. That's, that's a wonderful idea, man. Great. All right. So there's your BCHSV, one of the scrubs of the Bitcoin Cash fork, right? Great. Great. Eternal is it? Is it really?
You love to Counter Strike, Yulia. Excellent. I didn't play it too much. Played Rust, but I never, never got it. I played Call of Duty too, and I never got into Counter Strike. It's about Loco is free. Hey, Light Yagami. Glad to see you too, man. Uh, happy you're here, man, as always. At Neil Cox, hello. Got him. Oh, we get it? Oh, nice. Sorry. Boom, fireworks tonight, just because we're kind of retracing. Woo, we're not uh, getting obliterated and making yearly lows every time we move, right? <laughs> hey, Mike T, dude. Right back at you. You have a good Sunday as well. Oh, my bad. Gosh dang. Julia, sorry. Alright, we got the Lumia bot up. We're good. It's done. It is done. Feel free to change the lighting at, at your leisure. Can I stop that from happening? Uh, Anthony A, I try. Uh, I fixed it last night, yesterday, but now it's uh, coming back and last contribution with um, Travis it was fine it didn't crap out it didn't make the crazy double chimes Brennan green dollar cost averaging in this market uh, not necessarily because there's no historical evidence I mean besides you know the past 10 years we have some reason to believe that yeah Bitcoin always recovers but uh, remember you know the history does not is not indicative of future performance right so uh, you know, stock market, dollar cost averaging. Yeah, sure. Uh, now, I think when you're at extremely high levels and you're showing bearish divergence, it might not be a good idea. You might want to wait until we pull back because we're at a 10 year long market cycle in the stock market. But for crypto, hard to say. I would say we would want to dollar cost average in an uptrend, but in a downtrend, man, that's, uh, that's rough because we could retrace, we could run all the way down to 2000. And uh, I guess you could keep layering in if you wanted to at some point. Uh, we'll hit a bottom. But how long is that going to be? And how long will we hit that bottom? Are we going to go sideways, right? Go sideways for a year. But then dollar cost averaging is fine. But uh, yeah, man, at, the, at this point, it's uh, it's great. You know, uh, I'm so happy to see Bitcoin come back to these levels. A lot of people just hate it and they're pissed. But those are the people that uh, fumbled in at uh, high prices. All right. What happened, Al Alessandro Delagrave? <laughs> Why is everyone talking about uh, paint thinner and stuff? Are y'all high or something? Anthony rode the Raven wave today. Excellent, man. Excellent. Cryptico, glad you're here, man. Seriously. Yeah, got these fireworks. I'm just kind of on. I'm, I'm almost caught up, right? Come on, England. Do I look like I lost weight? Have I been burning mad calories? No, oh, not really, dude. No. I have not changed my diet at all, so. I think it's just this uh, hoodie that does it to me, okay? Yeah, we got to 15 minutes, 13 minutes of look on the 8s. We'll look back at XRP. Yep. Yeah, we can look at a uh, ACB, XRP, Roshiman, true. All right, let's get to uh, ears, okay? Ears. Okay, it's on the Nasdaq. Well, it's not an OTC. Oh god, it's like everything else. Oh, here we go, man. Here we go. Just terrible, man. Just bearish as can be. It's okay, I get it, man. I get it. The pot craze. The pot craze. Let's go to the weekly, man. Screw it. Let's see if we can make sense of any kind of. Dude, this thing just looks like it's going like bankrupt, man. Just like. Oh. It's terrible, dude. Hmm.
Who's for me right there? Uh, dude. Kyle Murray, man, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Uh, what do you want me to do here, like, with these? Okay, because we, look, have a huge impulse down. We have down sloping consolidation. You're making lower lows. Every time you make lower lows, uh, you were making uh, lower levels of negative momentum, and now you're showing positive, we're making lower lows, and now positive momentum. Uh, on the weekly, you're just, go back to the daily now, since we were able to see that and plot that. So I don't know, just getting above that heart line. Uh, really, but look what we're doing on the daily. 200-day moving average, completely rejected it, and now we're back below it. Okay, back below the 20, 20 day moving average, and uh, very close to being below that 50-day moving average, right? So I had a nice spike with everything else, right? October, all the pot stocks were doing the exact same thing, and now they've all broken down, and they're just bleeding out again. It looks like an S coin, doesn't it? Uh, pattern development, I don't think you have any. What kind of pattern development do you have right now? Hey, Aaron M, man. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, but I thought you were sober already. What's going on, dude? That's weird. Really, really weird. But yeah, ears, dude. I wish there was more I could work with besides a down subbing channel after a huge impulse, and it's just all it's been is bearish. I mean, you've had been nothing but bearish, dude, this whole freaking way. Okay. Good God. We just try to do this. Swing high to swing low. I mean, I don't even know, dude, look at the, you gap down, you retrace, it's probably, uh, I mean, this is your major swing high, it's maybe this is your major swing low, we haven't even retraced 23% of the way, right? So one could say, this is the impulse down, we retraced here, we could use this as the uh, the fib, and at that point we had the 236, and that makes more sense, okay, so from this swing high to swing low, 23% retrace, okay, and uh, 269 is a 382 retrace, holy crap, but... I don't know, man. Higher lows for now. That's great, but uh, this isn't really telling me much besides extremely, extremely bearish. And I don't see any kind of bullish divergence at all. I mean, we I don't think we saw it, really. And I think it was just following the macro. So, ears moves down. Downtrend. So, hey, downtrend. Not uptrend. Uptrend, you want to go long. People want to be looking for good areas of value but in downtrends man you're looking for good areas to go short okay we we'll would be doing that okay so that's that's all that's all i got for you dude okay i mean it's weird because it looked like we almost had a wedge or of some sort right a wedge we broke it then just tanked again dude. like that's what i'm saying a falling wedge that i could almost i could see it i could visualize it here and here and here and then up here here and here broke it broke down right Together a chart and move on. Sure did, didn't it, man? Wow. It's struggling though, dude. Burst. Disregarding the great FOMO. This is the great FOMO. We disregard it on most charts because it doesn't even make sense. You can't even plot anything. Okay, wait for normalization. We got that. We got so much respect in the heart line. Both sides. Support, resistance, resistance, support. Holy crap. So anchor point one and two and three. That's what we got on our channel. As you can see, what's going on on the daily time scale. Pretty significant. We had very nice bullish divergence. Not only in the MACD, but also the RSI. You can clearly see it. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. All right, so we had impending price action reversal going on from uh, October 17th, my birthday is when it started, all the way to November 20th. Okay, so about a month of bullish divergence building on the RSI and MACD, and we got a pop to the upside, but you can clearly see, what is this downtrend? It moves down, so your trend is bearish right now. So we know like any kind of buying you get might be very short-lived. It might just be another lower high than previous highs because that's based on the history of what's going on. Okay, so uh, the 75% trend line, we're just unable to crack it. We're trying to so hard, aren't we? So hard to crack this uh, clearly respected resistance. 
irregular descent line. It's just over and over and over and over. And now again, we're outside of it right now. But where's the volume to crack us really above it, above the 20 day moving average? Uh, just closed today or yesterday above the 50 day moving average. That's great on burst coin, right? So, uh, but you know, whatever, man. Whatever retrace was, then we just from our minor swing high to swing low. We've retraced uh, almost 50%, right? We hit that 382, 142 is your uh, 50%, and then 151 is your, or your 618. So common retrace zone, we could run up there before crapping out again, which we've been doing time and time again, right? So <sighs> Game. Down sub and channel. Travis over those, man. Okay. We're still in a, do still in a, a downtrend. All right. So we get the four hour. I mean, I like it. I like the shift in momentum. Right? It's not rounding action by any means, but uh, that's pretty the upside. Hey, Rick uh, Kling, man. Thanks for so much on YouTube. Jeez, man. Thanks. Lower high than our previous high. Gross. Hey, look, we're still showing we're bouncing we bounce off the 220 ma on the four hour we're back above this down slipping resistance okay holding for now well right, let's see if we can make our highs we got uh why did we sell off here well we got overbought okay just like here look we have the bearish divergence here and tanked all right maybe we run up one more time all right and hit that 618 50 percent 618 fibs we we're talking about from this swing high to swing low go back to it one more time so uh, Faster time skip. Okay. Swing high to swing low. Let's see if we can get 142 or 151. And that's when we probably would start showing bearish divergence. Okay. Awesome, dude. Thanks again, Travis, man, for that 777. Much love, dude. What kind of ACB do we want, though? It doesn't matter. Nice double top. Good night, man. I mean, anyone can see this double top, right? Double top. Pretty clear. You can go to the weekly and see what's going on. This is why the weekly is important on the stock market, okay? Because you, uh, you were told screw you were told impending price action reversal high rallied to the same high and made lower levels of positive momentum this is common what you see in double tops double tops are showing this almost all the time okay so uh that's it man Your weekly set you free uh, either way though you're looking okay man i think the pot craze was insane all right Okay, so nice bearish engulfing candle to end everything. The bearish engulfing candle. What else? On the daily, high on price, higher high on price, inexistent positive momentum, high on price, higher high on price, lower levels of relative strength. So the daily and the weekly at the same time, we're screaming and pinning price action reversal to the downside. We sure said got it, did we not? Ran up to critical areas of resistance with all this, screaming. So uh, that is market. That's your market uh, confirming that we will not see higher prices. This is what those double tops signify. All right. So since then, though, XRP Roshi, man, are you are you there, man? Swing high to swing low. What do we retrace? We retrace thirty eight percent of the way before reversing our price section to the downside. And here we are. The week closed. You know, day closed. Not sure uh, if this thing will continue breaking down. Okay. But uh, I don't know. Impulse down, retrace. You broke down, and we're just kind of holding right now. Higher lows than our previous lows. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna keep running. All right, not sure. In terms of any kind of channel, it's gonna be hard to do that. I don't. 
I don't know with this kind of price action if a channel makes much sense. Okay. I think you could probably just draw a leg. Where's the anchor point, right? Just draw a leg like that. I mean, that's all you got, dude. That's all you got. And I think we probably legged up too. Towards like anchor point one. Into. No, not even. So you didn't even didn't even man all right so this isn't really following any kind of trend line I don't think one two and three and close we didn't touch it at the bottom like whatever man okay so I uh, it's very tough with this kind of volatility there's no real the trend is gross it's up slow you're obviously making higher lows than your pre previous lows that's great man that's great but to say there's any kind of nice upsloping trend or anything like it's hard to say man too much volatility Whatever. So let this uh, crap normalize, and then we can draw something. You know, give me some chat, and we'll just keep on rolling. Well, don't have too many more requests. Holy crap! I miss so much chat, man. I miss so much chat, man. So BG man, blank man. We already looked at Nano for you, dude. Looked at your diamond, looked at the measure move, and we give you a big round of applause on the soundboard, dude. Okay, blend man. Rewind if you want to check that out. Definitely give you kudos. You don't know why you were unsubbed, Aaron M. I don't know, man. I don't want to tell you. So about Quasi Tool, dude. Too loud? What? My Apple phone. 1985. Is the music too loud? It seems uh, okay on decibels, but uh, you never know, man. Going down just a little bit. My God. One pixel. I mean, like, dude, that's how sensitive my, my mouse is. It's ridiculous. Litecoin? Okay, Litecoin. Sure. On the list. Look up, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for your local on the 8s. Bitcoin, sweet. Okay, we ran down to 34, 3400 in change. Bounced off a weak support from remember September, late September 2017, and if we didn't hold that, we were going to come straight on down to 3,000 on the dot. All right, so um, let's get back on the four hour. Uh, I, I can't even at this point with these new graphics man I gotta get this, this my poor GPU in there is just like dude what are you doing to me like I'm I'm personifying my GPU right now my my single GPU trying to stream trying to run like 10 different charts screen captures everything right it's trying to process all these graphics and uh, I could understand how it's freaking out and it's, it's now it's kind of putting its foot down it's like dude this is insane what are you doing all right, so anyway, Bitcoin. There's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, we have that equidistant channel that's down sloping, signifying our bear trend. Okay, that's the big teal, red, teal, blue line. You see this down sloping, right? Then you have the uh, change the color here. Okay, then you have the uh, short term downtrend. So we have a downtrend within a downtrend, trendception. All right, and all started back uh, really November 14th or so. And uh, since then, we've legged down three times. One, two, three. Weaker move down this time, okay? And uh, once we hit that critical September 22nd, 2017 support, uh, we were just exhausted. We were just tired. Uh, we had the triple RSI bullish divergence. We had the MACD bullish divergence that came in at the end. Uh, just much lower levels of negative momentum, making lower lows. All right, and this just signified the impending price action versus the upside. We got a $400 bounce just about. It's pretty, pretty bad. Uh, not bad, right, for a retrace. But again, our downsloping white trend line, uh, that's the big one, right? We need to break that. If we are going to hit our common retraces, if you know anything about Fibonacci, swing high to swing low, we would commonly retrace all the time on any chart between uh, the 382 and the 618. So we're between 42.95 and 48.14. 
uh, that's something that could easily be expected if this was to be a real retrace. Uh, if there's just no demand though, hey, the, the bullish divergence played out, extremely bearish conditions, we could just tank here and head on down to 3,000, right? So it um, doesn't always mean you're gonna look at common retrace. This is extremely bearish, right? So it may not get to the common areas because no one's buying this at all. So, uh, hey, 236 though, swing out some low, we hit the 236. But we also are failing to break the 20 MA. That's, that's what you do in extremely bearish conditions. You are unable to break that 20 civil moving average, right? So. Uh, below that have not gone above it we've rejected it twice okay uh, pretty low volume on the retrace too so the 23 percent retrace this is the size we've gotten sweet <laughs> yeah princess Raleigh's still here blank man yeah she uh took off tomorrow Your heart hurts, so you're gonna grab a drink, Zed, man. Well, we got your back, right? Is this tune called, oh man, Julia, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. That was like nine minutes ago. You're only worried about cryptocurrency when it's up? Hey, that sounds like 90% of this market, or the market, right? Where's Star Wars World, man? I don't know if Star Wars World is that, man. He's in outer space somewhere. So about Christopher Kent, dude? Just getting through this, okay? I missed a lot of chat uh, doing analysis and I'm gonna finish it up, okay? Or I'm just gonna like, you know, catch up. Maybe so, dudes, man. Maybe so, but uh, again, there's no uh, reason to believe we couldn't just keep selling off, okay? And run down to other supports. 3,000 seems a much, like a much stronger support. This might just be our, uh, our pit stop. Okay, our pit stop because we're extremely oversold on the daily still, and uh, we're showing oversold triple RSI bullish divergence to MACD bullish divergence on the four hour. So uh, a retrace is in order. Uh, but again, what the retrace is going to do is ultimately give us a lower high than our previous highs up here, major swing highs, and then we would just break down again to lower prices because the bear trend is the bear trend, right? Don't fight the trend, which is your friend. Holy crap, I missed the. Uh, oh my god, I'm getting throttled, man. Holy crap. I feel bad for my PC. It's just getting just destroyed, man. Holy crap. Uh, we can certainly look at Facebook. P. Miller, man. Yeah, Facebook. Book, book face. We got hey, look, uh, Bitcoin's breaking down again. Bearish engulfing at this time. I mean, obviously they could change, but... Uh, no demand, and you're rejecting the 20MA twice. Sure thing, XRP Roshi, man. Sure thing, man. Kevin Stu, glad you like the music, man. Glad you like it, dude. Okay. You'll be 47 in an hour. Zed Zerbs, man, we'll be throwing on those uh, celebrations for you when it happens, okay? Princess Rally, what you doing? What you doing? Doing princess things? That's what princesses do. Yeah, we're, uh, we're still like, we couldn't break that 4,000. That was another psychological resistance. We couldn't break it. Psycho GHP. Uh, yeah, man, we looked at Ethereum. Uh, we'll look at it again. Sure. Your beer's warm? That's not good, Anthony, man. Hey, Lane Cap. Interesting, Daniel Naylor. OGC is tapped out, and the whales are buying out the small time guys. Classic market setup. Big things right around the corner. You think so, Daniel? Man? Hey, maybe so. Dude. Maybe so. Yeah, Mersar, sure, man. Absolutely. Yeah, but you would look for common retraces, Mersar. Those are. You sell them, you're gonna want to like reach. Uh, one would not want to go short at a two, three, six. You know, they normally between the three and two, fifty percent. You layer in right to short positions. Two, three, six though. You, you don't even know if you have the swing, swing low yet, right? So, Mercer, yes, absolutely. And bear trends shorting at common retrace fibs is 
way better than trying to find the bottom. Yes, I agree. Thanks, Anthony, man. Glad you like the overlay, dude. Hey, Earth Yaw, the tree, Jesus Liddy. You're keeping the fire going, Princess Rally? That's lit. All right. Oh, good old Yeti man. Hello, dude. Simple Yeti man. All right. Here we go. Bitcoin breaking down. Add the 236. Add 3973. Not good. Ugh. Fail. No demand, but yet all the bullish numbers in the world. No more echo. Could you check LTC, please, Mitchell? Thank you, Sensei. Uh, yeah, John Lennon, thanks for the 515. Yes, sir. We'll do. But we're going to look at it right after uh, Ripple and Ethereum. You know, this is look on the eights. Okay, look on the eights. Just kind of always, you know, we don't mess with the look on the eights. Oh, there you go. Ripple breaking down. Unable. Look, rejecting the twenty MA twice like Bitcoin. Uh, retraced about thirty-five percent of the way, and now you're dumping again with Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, hey, the bullish evidence played out uh, at critical horizontal line support. It's actually well below the horizontal line support. Extreme, extreme exaggeration, right? I mean. Where did you bounce? Uh, literally nowhere. You bounced below supports. So you sprung up, but again, on your retrace, much, much lower highs than your previous highs. That is extremely bad for Ripple, okay? Not good. Okay, man. Jeez. That's all you do. Not good. And soon, what's going to happen is uh, going to get rid of this equity and channel. It's that we broke, but not really relevant to us anymore because we're out of it. It was good at the time. Uh, we might do anchor point one and two and then three up here and it might be number four here. It might be showing our, our downtrend. Okay. So we'll uh, definitely do that. Give it some time though. I want a little bit more pattern, a little bit more candle development outside this channel. All right. But uh, make no mistake that it seems like there's confirmation that we have broke out bearishly of a nice uptrend that was very well respected across the board. Okay. Whew. Sucks, man. Sucks. All right, Ethereum, real quick, and then we'll move on and we'll hit a Litecoin. Many people are just salivating over Litecoin right now because it's so freaking low. Uh, we expect twenty-three dollars on Litecoin, and we're, that means we're not done. I don't think we're done. All right, hey, you know the gr great thing about Ethereum? It almost hit the measure move. Almost hit the measure move of the descending triangle we had plotted. I just got rid of it because I wanted to draw this channel. Okay, it was just way too busy having the uh, descending triangle uh, with the measurement, the measure principle. It hit uh, as low as $99, $98 and change, $98.48. And the measure move was at uh, $95.52, which would make more sense as a candle body close to going all the way back to 2017. All right, so, uh, but this was our target. We expected $100, $95 to $100. And we know if eventually we can't maintain prices above 100, real quickly, we're gonna be going down to $55. Real quick, uh, there is no support. It's a straight line up on Ethereum. Uh, you should expect uh, to get cut in half, it, it, it lose fifty percent more of your value if uh, we can't hold ninety-five dollars. Okay, two hundred dollars. Right, this is an insane last stand type stuff on Ethereum. Okay, don't be scared, but just understand this is how it works. You were warned. You were warned. A stupid copious amount of times you were warned in the stream about what could happen to ethereum bitcoin if we fell below certain supports and we did it and it happened fast and we said it was going to happen fast because that is the way support resistance works bitcoin is no different than any other it now it defied gravity it, it was it was disrespecting ta i think like crazy uh on that insane run but that's what happens with the mass euphoria and hysteria Okay. Sometimes it happens. But when you normalize, man, corrections are like sieges and blizzards. Okay. They take time and you can easily, it's, they're going to last longer than you can stay solvent for sure. Okay. Who knows how long the spare market could last, right? Because the last one lasted, uh, well, we had a year downtrend and then a year of no trend. Okay. So it took a long time to turn things around. Eventually we'll find some sort of bottom and then just start going sideways after uh, maybe finding some huge amounts of volume after that uh, potential capitula more capitulation and uh, high volume, like large candles, 
like the actual price action candles and volume candles to come in to when we hit this eventually we will have a nice spike to the downside and we'll run up real fast and then we'll normalize and probably go sideways for a year or six months could be all right just don't i mean like what is the reason you believe that uh, we're going to be going in a bull trend anytime soon it just doesn't make much sense okay because we just broke two to three weeks ago we broke that 5800 level we had been um, manufacturing all year normally those don't last or stay up, stay up very well okay doesn't mean this uh, is your ethereum we do a light coin but I guess we could go at the daily on ethereum first really before we switch it over to litecoin just so you can see one day I'm having a GP next week hey there mr. ta man qkc slash btc for something a little different please oh yeah I think we were talking about that in chat uh, hey uh I know you're not trying to be anon I don't think you are you've never been anon before so I'm just gonna go ahead and dox you thanks to Yulia Goskuskis Julia thanks for the 1618 yeah we'll look at the qkc right after litcoin <laughs> thanks so much much love wow freaking awesome so uh there we go look left you got some support at 100 if you can't hold 100 here's your next support the downtrend is so well respected here it's beautiful you're maintaining prices within the parameters of this nasty downtrend since 1420 all-time highs right very very bad and again this is why we say if you break 100 you're gonna have a real quick easy run to 55 because look straight up this is terrible support you could hold this for a minute but eventually if you crack it see ya and if you don't hold 55 seriously if you don't hold 55 you got like 46 right there which is nothing okay that's almost nothing if you don't hold 46 you're coming down to around $20 and after that like $7 okay there you go man Insanity. Wait a second. Did I see that? Nah, never mind. Wait. You are showing some slight bullish divergence on the RSI on the daily here. Huh. Does anyone see this? Bueller? Hey, Ethereum at critical areas of support. Cool, man. Alright, so Ethereum. Great. I'm glad we did this. Uh, bullish pin bar you know my uh, minor bullish pin bar reversal possibly at critical supports with rsi bullish divergence we made a low in price a lower low in price with higher levels of relative strength hey, we haven't been seeing much of this at all on these major coins they've just not had time to form any kind of divergence on the most one of the most significant time scales the daily and now we're showing it on ethereum interesting but again keep your eye on bitcoin because bitcoin uh, rules this thing okay That means impending price action reversal of the upside, potentially, okay, with a bullish pin bar. But again, it's a bear trend, so they may not be as reliable as indicators. All right. Litecoin. Let's zoom out real quick. Sorry, man. It just takes a second just because GPU. So where are we? Was the lowest price we could, we saw around 26 bucks? Okay, we expected 23 dollars. We're three dollars off our target. The Litecoin includes such bearishes. Look left. A little bit more formidable supports, I guess. You got these like miniature swing highs all up in here. You're somehow holding for now, but for 26. Where we bounce, man? We really didn't bounce anywhere. Uh, there was no real. I guess. There was a one support in May of 2017. That's where you bounce, man. Congratulations. But it's not because you held support. It's only probably because Bitcoin broke to the upside and Litecoin went with it. Who cares, right? So again, the expected target for now is uh, 2340. If you can't hold 2340, see it $20. Can't hold $20. I mean, you got a couple of supports on Litecoin. You got like 16, 1587. 
you know, whatever, 12, 23, but after that you got like uh, six bucks after that, all right? So these are your horizontal, horizontal line supports that you're, you got right now. And you're, look, you're kind of in no man's land right now between this huge area, all right? I mean, this is some chop, but none of this held up, did it? I don't know if this would either. If Bitcoin wants to dump, hey, see you down here. Again, $23 as a target. Okay, like one, terrible performer. Look at impulse down, down sloping consolidation, and you broke out bearishly. Wow. Pathetic, man. You've just been tremendous selling pressure on this thing. Been dumping so bad. And here you go, man. Uh, if we would have, you know, if this was on the local on the aids or people asked about this more often, we would, I'd show you, but look, you are, you were making all this triple RSI bullish average, just like daddy Bitcoin. And then you showed the divergence Triple R, a triple MACD bullish ever as well. Unlike one, see, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. All right, leg down one, two, and then three. Okay. All right, you close see this uh, resistance support, resistance trend line of your equidistant channel is being respected as a resistance right now. Okay, so uh, tough break in that, really, really tough break in that. All right, so. Oh my God. Yeah, maybe we break down one more time. Before bouncing the upside, but again, Bitcoin owns this thing, man. Uh, before you analyze any altcoin on this market, make sure you analyze Bitcoin. You understand where it is in its consolidation. Okay, very important because Bitcoin, you can analyze Bitcoin, and a lot of times when these nasty moves down, everything else follows it. Okay, so and that's why a lot of people don't even ask about S coins during these troubling times. They're probably, you know, during the marathon streams we've been doing on the huge sell offs, like. No, I'm not, dude, no one's asking about any coins. <laughs> They're just asking. They just want to sit and look at Bitcoin because it rules the market. All right. Hey, good for a uh, quark chain, man. How fantastic, Julia. Because, not just because of the price action, but because of where we topped, look where we went, man. Wilmot and others. Do you see this? Look, we, we've had this anchor point one and two and three. We've had it forever, right? We haven't touched this. We haven't looked at it in a while. We broke all the way down. We had bullish divergence at the bottom trend line of the channel, the bottom of the channel. And then we broke to the upside, had a pin it, broke to the upside again. And look where we went all the way to the top. And we never sustained prices outside of this channel. We broke it one time, did the 1414 for extension, swing high to swing low. Here you are, 1272 and the 1414 were cracked, but neither, well actually you're right at, you're now using that 1272 as resistance. Be very careful here. Holy crap. Very careful. Look at, all right, so we don't have any divergence. No, because that spike was so tremendous, but keep in mind, all the way up, your volume's been tapering off that's bearish at the top of a channel that has been very, very well respected, okay? That's all I can tell you. So, great areas where people take profits for real. Okay, and you're now, what, what do you do? Huge impulse up, you you have a nice spike in volatility to the downside, bounce off that 75% trend line, and now you're attempting that scrub rally. You know, we see it all the time, the scrub rally, all the time. You're gonna make a lower high most likely and then break down again. In it. QKC, awesome. And it's respecting the TA quite freaking well. All right. Very cool, man. Whew. Julie, let me know if that uh, helps. So, uh, very cool. Oh, I don't know uh, who would sell, but uh, hopefully people were out of Litecoin before. It got to this price, Wally Chons. It's been so bearish all year since Charlie Lee sold him. What's up, Stuart, man? He was pushed a, uh, sorry, I bet against Maryland. Penn State killed them, and it was easy money. Sorry, Stuart, man. Shane Grant is 30. Heck yeah, man. Chalen's 23. Billy just says Oklahoma, man. MK, man. What's up, dude? 
Hope you've uh, been having a wonderful weekend. Seriously. Dow and NASDAQ futures are up. You're going all in. Kappa. I know you had a Kappa there, dude. Song sucks, dude. Oh, Vincent, you want the daily? Oh, wait, on Litecoin, right? What was it? One sec, I got you. Let's look at my other screen real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Litecoin and Ethereum are both showing RSI bullish divergence. Make no mistake, Vincent, and I believe that was a. I can't remember if it was a, uh, Billy Man. That's my Litecoin. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. RSI bullish up on Litecoin too. Yes. Didn't mean to. Sorry, I didn't, didn't look out. Zoom out. Okay. What's up, Timothy? Whew. Nicholas Brabot, you're late. Wrecked, dude. You are wrecked. When are we gonna hold those Scrubby Awards? Julia, I gotta get some aid on that. I gotta get some help. I don't even know really where to begin. I know I can do the performance and figure it out, but I don't know the categories um, and how we're gonna get the proper voting. And at least I got uh, five days till December and we got all December to decide when that's gonna be. So, and I've talked to Chalen, that's like, I'll be like working Chalen like I am this freaking GPU, this single GPU. He's gonna be like, oh my god, emoji balls, and now you want me to do a Christmas overlay and a, a scrub award uh, overlay? Holy crap. Get Quark Coin, Quark Coin doing things. That's right. I don't know, Curvy uh, man. Uh, it just seems like it's an uptrend. It's respecting the CA pretty well. So I don't, I don't really know, man. One, two, seven, two. Testing it, failing. Wicking off it right now. Wicking off. Oh, man. Dude. Freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> Asher, we can go do a... Uh... That. I want to go to Facebook though first, man, because Facebook very interesting. Uh, we haven't looked at it in a while. No one's asked about it in a while, All right? So, uh, Facebook, man, absolutely terrible, man. All right, so we go to daily. We had this just beautiful uptrend. I think this is noteworthy, right? Beautiful uptrend, and as you can see, we've finally broken it. All right. I know there's a lot of stuff going on there. I just had this, uh, there was a channel, it was upsloping, it was beautiful. Get rid of it real quick. Uh, it wasn't really a wedge. I don't think you could consider this at all a wedge. You know, but it, it's it got like that, it's upsloping, right? You broke out. Uh, we were talking about going short at this area. <laughs> uh, because of just, look, and then look what happened, right? After, holy crap, man. So, uh, what are we doing now? I think we're just doing retrace stuff, okay? For real retrace stuff, not a joke. Let me show you. We have broken the uptrend, and I think what we're gonna do now, see our major swing low. The beginning of, yeah, really the beginning of the trend uh, was really here, in tw 2012, man. All the way up to all time highs. We get $218, we're at $131 now. Okay, so we've smashed through the 382 retrace. We're on our way to the 50% uh, the retrace at 11864. Okay. Uh, right now, I don't really I think we got some sort of, uh, you know, short term little downtrend. Uh, wasn't real, real respected at all, was it? Not at all. Oh my God, man. Right, you anchor it like this. That makes the most sense right there. Anchor point one, two. Uh, 
Aha, it could point one and two and three, and now here we are at the bottom. We're just down sloping trend, right? Uh, we had some bullish divergence, which continued to sell off, right? And this is daily time scale. So uh, you're just going sideways. This is exactly what you do when you're bearish, man. You're just, you fall below that. Uh, we were like, look, above the, the whole time in this uptrend, just above the 60, staying above it, staying above it. And then what, look what happened with the gap, the breakaway gap. Yes, a breakaway gap. And look where we are on the RSI, staying below 50 the whole friggin' time, really staying below 40 consistently. Okay, that's just what you do in uh, bear trends. So again, we could expect a retrace of the upside, a big one at 118.64, maybe even down to 94.98. All right. We haven't seen the prices we're at currently since uh, February of 2017. Remember, so if you bought in a year ago, you haven't made anything, nothing. So if you get down to the uh, that 50% retrace, January 2017, the, the 618, our last common retrace, $95, 94, 98. You're looking at the January 2016 prices. Holy crap. Retrace is very real. This is an uptrend that we finally broke. We've been in it since truly Jan uh, June of 2013. Holy crap. All right. Really, we could probably extend this out a little bit more. Get another touch one on the top. Yep. Good God, man. Okay. That's Facebook, P. Miller, man. Hope that helps. Jeez. Bitcoin survive or starve because no one fed it. Uh, it'll it'll survive. It'll just be emaciated. <laughs> Good word, emaciated. All right. What happened? Do you quan? No, Ak Akash, I do not quan, man. But I might know we broke a 5800 support, which was critical. There was very little support below it. And once we broke it, we broke hard on high volume. And that was completely expected if we broke that 5800 level, the selling to come in quick and fast. And it did. And there's video evidence of us saying that for two months, two freaking months. background music for the awards jerry man oh my god <laughs> oh it's hilarious dude so awesome blue jones is a little quiet tonight am i quiet is my mic not working or something this is impossible to know if we're going to take another uh, dump in the 24 hours the bitcoin dump all right i'm not sure we are making lower highs and failing to break with the 20 ma as certainty right now so what we could do is a uh, breakdown to 3,500 again, maybe double bottom. And we would still at that point uh, be, uh, you know, upsloping in our RSI. We could still show more bullish evidence around that and then break the upside. Okay, very real possibility. Aramis, uh, not too much, man. Not quite yet, right? We got a long way to go, don't we, <laughs> on selling. What is, who is Hacker Noon and what did he do, Stuart Matt? So, Verkus Games, welcome, man. How's the setup on uh, Ravencoin doing? It's still doing okay, I guess. It's not even close to target, uh, the major targets, whatever, but. Uh, it's doing all right. We didn't get stopped out and we broke the upside, which was good. I'm glad we had our stop where we did and, you know. Whatever. It's okay for now. For now. I don't know how it's going to play when Bitcoin, or if Bitcoin wants to dump again. I don't know how Raven's going to do, but at least we won't get stopped out because we uh, broke the upside today. All right.
tells me to say, no, not yet. Not yet. The time is not right. The moon is not full. And uh, do you own a Shiba? Shiba Inu? Because if you do, if you don't, that's another element to going all in on taking out a bunch of loans on Dogecoin. Okay. Remember those things. There's a uh, methodical process. What's up, Kiki? Welcome back. Thanks for the uh, 217 people still tuned in to Twitch and YouTube. Please, uh, if you are enjoying this coverage, this live stream, seeing uh, Facebook and Bitcoin, all these mark these coins and stocks, assets get wrecked. Uh, you may not enjoy the price action, but if you're at least enjoying the coverage, please hit the like button, that bell, that sub. All right, that's what, how this channel grows. Can't do it without you. Thanks. Seriously. My mic picked over. What? Crap. Take the sound settings real seriously because I don't know if that's it. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, really quiet. I don't get it. It's like max. There's no way to turn up my mic audio though. Hello. I don't know, dude. Vice properties. Let's see. Oh, here we go. It's up like all the way, man. That doesn't make sense. Can y'all hear me? Like loud and clear. Like uh, no one's complained uh, all night, so that's why I'm kind of curious. What's up, HFL Productions? Welcome. Joshua Ramsey coming by to say uh, good night. Have a good one, man. All right, sleep well. If we break 4,200 uh, with good volume, where do I see Bitcoin going in the short term? Uh, probably between 46, 64, and 5,000. Okay, that's, uh, you're talking about 4,200. 4,200 is, I believe, the 382 area. Yeah, so uh, again, 5,000 could be in the cards if we were to break 4,200, all right? What's up, big one, Andy, man? Welcome, dude. Glad to see people trickling in, saying hi. Yeah, they are uh, super cute, Brian Griffin, Shiba Inus. But you need that if you're going to go all in on Doge, take, especially if you're going to take out mortgages, Kappa. Let it be known for the jury that I did say Kappa. You got scared and sold your raven? Andy, man? Hey, it's okay, dude. It's all good. All right tough in these markets it's very tough because the uh the macro is so against you even if you're uh look like a, you got a bullish setup on all point uh it's so tied and tethered to bitcoin price action what's up niru thanks for the sub on you to the gizmo welcome man welcome would really appreciate that sub dude sounds good julia thank you perfect now yeah i turned it up like two decibels i didn't have any it was that was all i could do so been perfect three minutes okay Awesome. Okay. SRM was next. I just can't wait to get this, dude. Y'all have no idea how excited I am to get this uh, brand new NVIDIA 1080 Ti that's going to handle everything. All right. Dude, you want to see something crazy, dude, by SRN? I know it had a nice spike in the upside today, but look how well it's respecting this downside channel. I mean, this is just wonderful. And that's exactly what it's done twice now. Here, here, and here. Look at this. It's just. And I can't like scale out, man. My PC it can't handle this. Oh my god. I should just take a vacation till freaking Wednesday. I don't want to turn off these graphics. They're too leap, man. They're too freaking leap. So what are you doing right now? Nice little double bottom. Hey, a miniature double bottom. Uh, we do a little hindsight double bottom uh, measure move stuff. Right? How do you measure the moves right at the double bottoms? See it right here. Okay. Not a very large one, right? So 297. Uh, God, let me just move this over to this one so we can see it. You know what? I'm going to go to the downside. Well, two ninety seven. So that's a three oh eight. Let me just. Uh, 
So your measure move. All right, hey, measure move. Oh my God, look, that's your standard. It's so difficult to see, man. Let me zoom in, try to anyway. It's tough with this. Okay, you can see from your uh, measure move, double bottom, there's a neckline on your double bottom. How do you do your measure moves? They're pretty easy, right? Very easy, like you just do. Uh, the upside, all right, wherever it ends, you come down, you do this. Okay. And then you just have a neckline like that. You just have a horizontal line resistance, and then you just measure, right? You measure from the bottom of the double bottom, from the breakout, and that gives you your target. Your target is just a trade set. That's how you trade double bottoms like this. That's it. That's how you do it, man. And this is your target right here, double bottom. And we just hit we hit the target on SRN. Beautiful. But, uh, you know, standard stuff, man. Standard stuff. A little education for you. Education. All right. Oh, it tastes good, doesn't it, y'all? It tastes good. Man, my poor PC, dude. All right, there you go, dude. There you freaking go. So just a little bit more. There you go. And I just did it on the bottom so you can actually see it. If I did it at the top, you probably wouldn't be able to see anything. It's just this; these things mess things up. I wish I could get rid of them. Whatever. Uh, I think I pro probably could. All right. So, where are we at? We're testing this downswing resistance that we've respected multiple times, time and time again. Downswing channel. You break this man's serious business, but uh, I don't know how you're going to do it. You're making consecutive lower highs now, and uh, you are overbought now, pretty much on the RSI. On well, an awesome dude, up 27.8%. Excellent. Oh, well, it looks like you got some sort of an inverse head and shoulders, man, on your hands for the Euro. Dang. Dude, I don't even man. Look, look at this, man. Holy crap. Sorry. Look over here, and now we're, like, pumping still on SRN as we speak. Yo, so we, do we have 178 likes? That's awesome, y'all. I really am grateful for that. That's that's amazing. Y'all, seriously, all world. Okay. Y'all think we can hit it? We got 209 people watching. I think we can get 200 likes. We're only 18 likes away. I think it'd be a great goal for us to, to hit, okay? It'd be awesome. Sure thing, Kava Crypto Man. Sure thing, dude. Thanks for the Kava Man. Alright, anyway. Good stuff on SRA, man. Good friggin' stuff. Let's so try to clean up some AMD real quick for Mr. Yeti, man. So I had that uptrend, it ended with the pennant, the triangle, and then we broke down, measure move was hit of the triangle, and we just kept on selling off, thank you, Macro, the whole stock market did that. What the heck? Okay. Try to make sense of this. We had a channel we haven't looked at in a while, right? So, uh... Is that a joint? Please check out hot slash CDH hollow.
Holla. Holla, holla. Thanks, Anon, for the 420 contribution. It is, man. Thanks, dude. Jeez. We haven't looked at that in a while. It looks terrible. Sure, dude. So, uh, we have not filled the gap. The gap fill would be at uh, 2275. We got as high as 2233. Here's your problem. Look on the four hour, man. Death cross on the 13th. Lower high than your previous high. You broke down. Lower highs right now. Below the 20 MA. Good God, man. So much misfortune going on. All right. It's really, really tough, though, man. Uh, this thing has done extremely crazy stuff. It was fine. It was all good, and then it broke out. And it hit a measured move of a, uh, well, not up here. This was for that triangle. Don't worry about that one. Maybe the 52 week highs, 38 to 27, or maybe the all time high. No, not the all time high. This was just a 2007 high, 3800, $38. And then 48, 49 was all time highs back from the tech boom on AMD. But uh, look, we had a nice. Impulse up, down slope consolidation for a year, and then broke out, and then hit a target of our bull pull bull flag, huge bull pull bull flag. Right, but now it just looks like a crazy, crazy, a huge, uh, look, the whole velocity, look, the velocity trend began here. It's all gone now. All of it's wiped out. Okay, so now we just, uh, we'll see that, man. Same sort of stuff, just had a huge move down. Uh, went all the way back to uh, prices from July, which isn't that crazy. And now we could probably just say that we got uh, one and two and three. So impulse down, upsliding consolidation. Um, just gonna get rid of these horizontal lines. I know it's like, it gets busy, okay, it gets really, really busy. These are just gap fills. Like this is a gap filled down. We filled the gaps. Awesome. Uh, I think that was it though. I think we filled all the gaps. So let's see here. From your swing high. Whoops. Swing high, swing low. We haven't hit the, thir the 382 yet, man. Very, very weak. Okay. Impulse down, upslope consolidation, and the retrace. It's calm in the beginning of the retrace zone. Okay, between uh, 2312 and 2733, we got very, very close, but uh, the 200 MA acted as a resistance and we couldn't make it. Again, lower highs, bring it down. All right, so uh, there's no, there's just convergence, okay? Bullish convergence, higher lows, lower levels of negative momentum, and higher levels of relative strength. Cool. Man, look at all that bullish divergence on the way up, just screaming. There it is, man. Perfect. All right. Look at your double, almost double bottoming off of the 200 MA. Okay. Great. Great stuff. You had no bullish divergence indicating we were done. We just got oversold. That was it on the daily. Last time we were oversold was uh, back in April down here for the rant. The run began. All right. That's it, dude. Okay. Ambient. I don't know what was going on here, but, uh, ooh, Ember's head shoulders? Holy crap. Let me, uh, clean this up for you. Okay, we just had a lot of stuff going on, man. We've been analyzing this since August, man, I guess. So, uh, we'll see what we can do here. All right. Let's get a nice little double bottom. Put in the short term. Clearly, wow, that's beautiful, man. It's like you have some sort of, uh, Neckline of some sort. You broke it, right? That's okay. Let me try it again. Whatever, dude. Pretty enough. 
but it didn't quite, uh, it was kind of oblong, but uh, you can still see it. And the neckline, I guess it's just up sloping neckline, right? So an up sloping neck, there we go, that makes sense. All right, so nice little uh, inverse head shoulders potential. Measure move of this, well, let's just do it like this, right? We were to be Kangs from a breakout. Could expect prices to run. Nice job, Anon. Whoever you are, thank you. Wonderful. Okay. That's it. Potential inverse head and shoulders back. Awesome. It's that simple. I wish there was more to it. Okay. Cheers. man thanks for the uh, kind words and uh, thank you again for the sub man and welcome to the community uh, hopefully we uh, see you stick around and see and chat more often all right or as often as one could want right I don't know what I'm saying okay freaking out Jackson what'd you miss man you missed literally everything Bitcoin went to five thousand billion dollars and isn't it back down to 39.90 right now okay that's it. Oh my god, did we uh, hit it? 193 likes. We need seven more likes for 200. Can we do this? I mean, I know the market's been tumultuous, and maybe that's the reason why we've been getting so many likes, uh, dislikes, whatever, these these trying times. But uh, hey, man, it's been, gr it's been great. I'm very, very happy. Uh, I can't believe it, man. Y'all are going above and uh, beyond on the likes, the views, everything. It's just been tremendous. Very grateful for that. All right. Hive coin spawn off the list. Yep, yeah, maybe so, man. What's up, M. Lily? Glad you made it. Hello, Abel. Lake Chasers drinking a delicious IPA. Heck yeah, man. Love me some IPAs, dude. Always. Holy crap. Abel says he bought 200 Bitcoin yesterday. That's a, uh, that's crazy, man. That's a very, very large amount of Bitcoin, man, right? Hey, David D'Amico. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. Jesus, man. Welcome, man. Welcome. Feel free to speak up and say something, dude. Jason, what's a good pump and dump right now? I don't know. There are telegrams for that. <sighs> Snakes? What? Snakes? What is this? Uh, Hummelin? You know? Remember the guy Snakes? Jeez, man. Just missing... Okay. So here's your hot man. I don't know what you could uh, ask for besides a nice little trade setup, potentially, right? Your slanted neckline, slanted inverse head and shoulders. Of course, it's potential until it breaks the neckline and becomes kanks. All right. All right, man. Mini big guns, yep. Why am I not wearing, oh, Alexander Cobb, hello, man. Oh, why am I not wearing a uh, collared shirt, man? I don't know, it's, uh, I might just start doing that on Sundays. I might just relax and wear just things. Okay, man. Just wearing a hoodie because it's cold and wet and nasty where I'm at, so, you know, but uh, good to see you, Alexander. As always, man. Big round of applause for Alexander Cobb for all the hard work he does on XRP community.
So again, I mean, like, I think you might have missed, if one was to trade this, you might have missed that area of value, look left, right? And you may never even hit it, right? But this was the little buy-in zone right here. That was the entry zone. Okay. Uh, and I'm just talking about like this. Like that. At least you got a little bit of it, right? Sweet man. So I'm, I'm waiting really uh, now. I uh, should be getting out of here soon, but I'm waiting on uh, the hour to pass so I can wish Zerps a happy birthday, happy 47th. All right, waiting on that for him. Yep. Uh, Cody with Tipman, hey, either way, man, very grateful. Uh, love to hear that. And uh, you're playing some poker, dude. Take a hold of him. Love me some poker, man. We got our uh, retrace in full force right now. Uh, we only had the 23% retrace, which is not common. That's just kind of like, wow, that's how we know we kind of have a swing low for FIB, swing high to swing low. Remember, a 23% retrace from there. Uh, and we would con commonly, as I've said, reiterating, we commonly retrace between 42.95 and 48.14. Always the offshoot, offshoot chance we could run up to 5,000, but uh, in these market conditions, man, who's going to push it up to that price? I just, it's going to be tough, man. It's very, very bearish right now. Right? We can't even break the downslope and resistance at all. It sucks. All right. Dang, y'all. We got over 200 likes. Y'all are incredible. Seriously, very, very... Uh, grateful and, and humble about that every time y'all do we were telling you 200 plus likes man this that's just crazy man that's Again, failing to break below that 20 MA, just like uh, Ripple failing to do the same, Ethereum is failing to do the same, Litecoin, they're all failing to break above that 20 MA. And if you know about the equilibrium levels for your candles, it's between the 50 and the 20 when you're in trends. Okay, so in the bear trend, most of the time you fail to break the 20 and you break down again. But sometimes what will happen after a few times you'll run up and hit that 50 MA and you'll fail to break that and then you'll break down again to lower prices. And that's normally when you get those common retraces. All right, so 3 to 2 percent So I don't know if we're gonna, if we can't break the 20 MA, uh, you reject it twice now, one or two more times, it's done, you're gonna sell off again, right? But again, we might run down and test that 3,500 level. Uh, we're so exhausted on selling, we might uh, double bottom or something and then break the upside. Okay, but downside resistance, gotta break it. Trading poker right now, Cody man. Well, uh, I really appreciate the sub on Twitch, dude. Much love, dude. Seriously. So about Crypto SB man, we got uh, Crypto SB and Alexander Cobb in the house. I think I'm just gonna call him Alexander Cobb from now on. It's like, my new thing for him, okay? Because he accidentally tipped me one time as Alexander, so it's it's done. Let it be decreed that it's his new name. Thoughts on oil being flooded? My God, oil is uh, getting wrecked. Uh, yeah, oversupply issue. Extreme oversupply issue, okay. And I don't know what OPEC's gonna do about it, really. Because it's like oil glut. I mean, really, if you think about it on the technical side, all you did was rally for like a couple years. You made a lower high than your previous high, that $100 a barrel high back from like, what, 2013, 2012? And uh, you broke down again. So you're just doing bear things, bearish things, like on a chart. Thanks, deep end man. Appreciate that. I guess I don't even know if you're talking about me, but uh, yeah, man, I don't know. A lot of people uh, wrap it up. They, uh, a lot of people 
have quit, you know, content creators have quit because the market's so bearish because, I don't know, man. I, I feel like bear markets are just as important as bull markets, okay? Because a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people are new market participants and they may not know what to do and they may think, hey, is this a good area to buy? But it's like, what would be a reason to believe we'd buy here? Well, why is it a good area of value? Look left, you know, teaching, education, so important in bear markets. And that's why I'm here. It's a stream to just give you the updates in the markets, but also to educate on measure moves, Fibonacci, patterns, trends, everything, man. Everything I can't oscillators. That's why I exist. All right. As a content creator, I guess. So we got uh, three minutes left till top of the hour. And then we'll be wishing somebody a happy, happy birthday. Hopefully he's still here. I don't know if he is. I haven't seen him. So. Uh oh. I have no idea why this is happening. No idea. That should be a tip on Streamlabs, but it, nothing happened. Whew. Is an online poker illegal? Uh, not if it's free for nothing, right? Only for money, it's it not legal, I don't think, right? So, all right, time for your local on the eights. Even though we're already here, we're already local, and we're on your eight. Yeah, Zed, that's uh, well, I'm sticking on, man. I would have uh, probably left uh, 10 minutes ago, just just killing some time for you, man, because I know that, uh, you know, birthdays are always a big deal, and happy to celebrate it with you, man, always. Here we go, man. Here we go. It is time. Zed Zerbs, man. Well, actually, what? Okay, never mind. I was off by a minute. My bad. Where's a good place to learn expected measure moves with chart patterns? Cody Uh Thomas Bulkowski. He's awesome for it. Um, stick around the show, Cody. You ever got, got a question about a measure move? I'll be happy to try to help. That's my ability live on air, right? You ask the question. Uh, and it'll just be like a coin or asset analysis of a chart, okay? So that's what I try to like doing. Like people are like, hey, what's the measure move of a wedge or this or that? You know, I'm happy to try to help. That's my ability, All right? Okay. Oh my god. This is so much confetti, man. I can't even see, man. I can't, man. I can't. Okay, man. Zed Zerbs, man. Happy freaking birthday, man. Happy 47. Uh, happy you're here celebrating with us. Uh, very humble about that. Oh my god, my CPU is... I can hear my PC right now. It's literally freaking out, dude. So, uh, dude, thanks again for being here. And happy freaking birthday. All right. Everyone him wish him a wonderful day, man. Happy birthday, Zed. Drank. Hope your new year is an awesome one. Dude, Julia, seriously, thank you so much for the 1618 twice now tonight. Uh, the top Jesus lady of the evening. Thanks so much. Uh, really appreciate that. And uh, I know Zed Zerps appreciates it too. So, y'all are fantastic. Wow. That's right, XRP Rushy, man. Fireworks, confetti, everywhere. Everywhere. Whew. Oh, yeah. Put it back. Sorry. Here we go. As Bitcoin burns, Zed Zerps turns his age again. Cheers, Cody, man. But yeah, the Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns, second edition by Thomas N. Bukowski, Cody Petit, is specifically what the book you'd be looking for, okay, man? The Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns.
Oh yeah, Julia's the new boss. That's right, uh, Brian man. We have a new boss in our midst, and it's Julia Goskuskis. Hey, True Stoner, man, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, we're just celebrating Zed's birthday uh, and uh, finishing up, wrapping up the stream. How are you doing, True Stoner? Hope you had a good Sunday. All right. Whew. Happy birthday, Zed. Happy birthday, Zed. Dude, thanks for the uh, $7.11 of Ethereum. Much love, man. Much freaking love, dude. Holy crap. Thank y'all. <clears throat> you feel a bit older, but my god, man. You feel older, but dude, look at all the confetti. You know, this is a lot of confetti. <sighs> a reaction, Julia. Julia. Oh my god, man. And yeah, whoever that was, happy birthday. Dude, thank you so much. Seriously. For the cryptocurrency, man. Whew. It's your Friday. You're off for four days after this. Here to ask me, man. Is this true? Well, that's awesome, man. Spend it well. Spend your time wisely. Okay. And, uh, we'll be seeing you in Atlanta this weekend. Because, uh, we're going to break your dreams, man. Kappa. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, it's been a pleasure, y'all. It really has been. Um, very grateful that Zed's hanging out. Very, very happy. Uh, and just ecstatic. I'm going to leave it on. But uh, what I'm going to do is get out of here. Uh, I've been live for two hours and four minutes now. A spectacularly efficient stream, as always. Well, for the, you know, not as always. Sometimes we, you know, drink. We're not as efficient, but... Uh, a lot of times we are very efficient, so I'll be back tomorrow. Again, happy birthday, Zed. Thanks uh, so much for all the contributions, the support, the new subs, the likes, even the dislikes. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow. Until next time, respect the T A. Man, uh.